Hey guys, this is Mike Troid coming back at you with another video tutorial. This time I'm doing a tutorial on Pokemon Emerald. This is actually the first time I'm hunting in this game, so I'm really excited. And I figured I'd make a tutorial on how to hunt the Hoenn starters, since this question has come up a couple of times in my chat while I'm live streaming. So basically, uh, you know, in Ruby and Sapphire, there aren't too many hangups about this hunt. You can basically just soft reset for your starter of choice. However, in Emerald, it's a little bit different because of the RNG. So for those that don't know, every time you start a new game in Emerald, uh, your RNG is basically predetermined for the rest of the game, and that's because every time you start the game, what should happen is that a new seed is randomly generated, which is what happens uh, you know, in Ruby and Sapphire that have working save batteries. Um, also works in like Fire Red Leaf Green and of course the newer Pokemon games, but for whatever reason, in Emerald specifically, once you have determined your seed upon starting a new game, it is always going to be the same seed. Basically what that means is that the RNG, uh, rather than being like a true RNG, is actually fixed, and that can impact uh, the way that you shiny hunt in this game. Basically, it's almost impossible to soft reset for shinies in this game, because rather than getting a true random chance every time you turn on the game, you're basically seeing the same Pokemon or the same frames over and over and over again. And if those particular frames are not uh, like shiny frames or the Pokemon generated there are not destined to be shiny, then they will never be shiny. So I'm going to show you a really special way that you can hunt starters, specifically here in Emerald. I think it's really unique and uh, kind of cool. So as you can see uh, over here, I'm going for Mudkip. So we're going to open the bag, and we're going to do kind of like a standard sock reset, where, you know, we just pick our starter and uh, throw it out into battle. You guys are probably familiar with this. And, uh, of course, you know, this one's not going to be shiny. So we're going to reset over it, and that's where I would add one to my counter. Now this is what's going to differ a little bit compared to, uh, you know, like Ruby and Sapphire, where you'd basically just be mashing A at this point to kind of get back to the hunt as quickly as possible. In Emerald, like I said, the frames are already predetermined, so if I happen to hit A with the exact same frequency that I did on the uh, previous reset, I'm going to see the exact same Mudkip, I'm going to be getting duplicate frames, and I will never actually get a Shiny. So to avoid that, basically the technique that I'm going to use is I'm going to count out loud. Obviously, uh, quite a few frames have already elapsed here because I'm talking in the video, but if I were hunting this offline, you know, I would say like one and then go ahead and open the bag, pick my starter, throw it out, see if it's shiny, all that. And then I'll show you what I do on the next reset to ensure that I'm hitting different frames. So, you know, of course that one's not shiny, so I'd add to my counter and then uh, do another reset here. Now this time when I go in, I'm going to count one, two open the bag. So that time, more time has elapsed, frames have advanced, and I'm now seeing, even though it's probably not going to be shiny, I'm seeing a brand new Mudkip that has the potential, a true 1 in 8, 1 9, 2 chance uh, to be shiny here. And of course this one isn't, so you're going to do that on and on. You're basically going to add 3 seconds, 4 seconds, 5 seconds, um, just ensuring that you're varying the time before generating the Pokemon so that you are hitting a new frame every single time and, like I said, having that true chance to see a shiny. Now eventually that's going to grow uh, kind of long in the tooth, you know, you're going to get to like 20, 30, 50 seconds, like whatever your tolerance is. At that point, what you're going to do, rather than doing a normal reset, is you're going to go over to a uh, new game on the title screen here, and you're actually going to start a brand new file, because when you do that, as long as you have a working internal battery, that is very important, and shout out to my friend Zoe or Purple Tide for soldering a new battery into my specific emerald uh, so that I could make this video but uh, and do this hunt. But um, basically, as long as you have a working battery, you will generate a new seed, which means you basically start the whole process over where you count one second, two seconds, three seconds for each reset, and that way, uh, you're basically just guaranteeing that every single reset you do, you're not seeing duplicate frames. Obviously, that would be a waste of time. So, in Emerald, it is a little bit more work than Ruby and Sapphire, or, you know, even Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire to do a starter hunt. But if you want to hunt in this game, that is the way to do it, for sure. 
Um, another thing that I want to mention is you definitely want to go to options here and ensure that your text speed is set to fast because there are, um, you know, some like little cutscenes and some dialogue every time you start up a brand new game. It takes a couple minutes to get to that point where you get to pick your starter. So you definitely just want to speed through that as quickly as possible since, um, like I said before, every 20, 30, 50 resets, you know, whatever it is that you have a tolerance for, you're going to be starting a brand new file. So you want to get through that part as quickly as possible. As you can see, uh, I was a little bit unfamiliar with it. So it took me like five minutes, but you can probably do it in a couple minutes once you've done it, you know, a couple times and you know what you're doing. So yeah, uh, definitely let me know if you guys have any questions on this tutorial. I know this is quite a bit different than my other hunting tutorials where I just give general advice, but I think, um, you know, this is pretty much the best and only way to hunt emerald starters. Uh, let me know, like I said, if you had any questions down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this informative. I super appreciate you guys watching. If you'd like to watch me shiny hunt live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Mike 34. We're live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 8 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. So would love to see you there. Definitely take care, guys, and I will see you in the next one.